Senior Thai officials and medical elite warn that COVID-19 remains a threat even with borders closed. Thailand's COVID-19 center has warned of complacency among the Thai public following the publication of an opinion poll this week which showed two-thirds of people are not concerned about the virus. Officials have begun warning of the danger posed by illegal migrants spreading the disease and the threat from the rest of the world even as Thailand's borders remain shut to normal visitors, tourists or air passengers. Senior Thai government officials, this week, while welcoming reports of increased use of public transport and activity in the domestic economy, are warning the public about a potentially complacent attitude to the threat from the COVID-19 virus which still lurks. COVID-19 Center spokesman Drive Ta Isil Visa Nuyodin warned of intelligence suggesting that up to 3,000 migrants have illegally penetrated Thailand's borders, illicitly seeking work or other opportunities. He confirmed that some have already tested positive for the virus. In Thailand, however, the evidence is showing the public appears to be growing increasingly relaxed about the threat from the disease. Over the holiday weekend, recently, the Thai government's own surveys and analysis showed that 11 million Thais undertook journeys away from home and that the use of public transport in the kingdom was up 15 percent on last year. A Swan Duset poll, last weekend, showed that nearly two-thirds of Thai people are no longer too concerned about the virus as a threat. Warning that up to 3,000 illegal migrants already have breached Thailand's borders and pose a risk. This situation has drawn the fire of Dr. Ta Isil Visa Nuyodin of the Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration, the trusted face of the government's team handling this outbreak. He warned, this week, that up to 3,000 illegal migrants have been detected by security agencies including the Immigration Bureau trying to enter Thailand surreptitiously. Dr. Ta Isil said he has been informed that some have even reached Thailand's inner provinces. He has also confirmed instances where some of these workers have tested positive for COVID-19. A security task force under Major General Thanet Paul Kazeswi has been deployed to prevent illegal entry into the kingdom by migrants seeking work at a time when millions of Thais cannot find gainful employment. COVID-19 spokesman urges the continuation of mask wearing at all times in public to ward off the threat. Dr. Ta Isop stressed the continued importance to ward off the threat from the virus, of wearing masks in public, social distancing and hygiene measures such as regularly washing hands. He has been joined by leading Thai medical expert, Dr. Thera Warat Narat, who urged the government to be cautious in its approach to any relaxation of its international travel policy toward tourism at this time when the COVID-19 pandemic is still at critical levels across the world's continents. The World Health Organization estimates that the global peak of the pandemic has not yet been arrived at. Medical expert says pandemic is still raging globally. Earlier, Dr. Thera, an epidemiologist at Chilalongkorn University, urged the government to exercise extreme caution when considering planned travel bubble arrangements to quickly restart the foreign tourism sector. The kingdom has gone 44 days now without a case of local transmission but authorities and Thailand's medical elite are calling for continued public vigilance against the threat. Thailand is now effectively sealed off from the world. The warning comes as Thailand's borders and airspace remain closed to normal traffic including commercial air travel at this time. All entry into the kingdom is on a case-by-case -case basis with mandatory quarantine within state facilities or costly commercial quarantine for foreigners. There are reported to be tens of thousands of foreigners with property and family in Thailand still locked out of the country and facing extreme bottlenecks including a limited ability to process entry applications into the kingdom because of a very limited number of government-organized repatriation flights. The country, this week, shelved indefinitely a plan aimed at Chinese and Asian tourists to relaunch foreign tourism using the travel bubble concept which has been rejected by authorities in the UK and many European countries as impractical and difficult to implement. Further reading. Agony for stranded Western foreigners as fast-track Chinese charter flight jets in from Shanghai. Move to prevent a tourism wipeout as minister pushes three-phase plan especially targeting Chinese tourists. Yada calls on countries like Thailand to think again over quarantine schemes and travel curbs costing jobs. Only 2,000 foreigners have yet registered to be reunited with loved ones as tourism to also reopen. Key ministries met on Sunday to discuss access by foreigners to the kingdom and a tourism relaunch. Thai public says no to foreign tourism and also predicts one to two years for travel to return to normal. Only hope for foreigners locked out of Thailand as easing continues with strict controls on entry. 
ministers suggest an easing of the travel ban for some tourists but a continued state of emergency. Thailand plans to prioritize Asian countries in its search for safe COVID-19 tourism bubble partners. Australian Envoy says his embassy and others continue to work on helping stranded foreigners get home. Access to Thailand opening up. It will be cautious, quite expensive with tight regulation and ministry controls. Thai security chief suggests a full reopening of the kingdom to international flights from July 1. New normal for foreigners seeking access to Thailand even after flights resume if virus persists as a factor. Growing concern and frustration among a large number of expats cut off from their families in Thailand. Australian man's heartbreak cut off from his Thai wife, begs to be included on repatriation flights. Thailand extends ban on inbound flights until July 1 at the earliest, blow to foreigners and tourism. Spouses of Thai wives down under denied access to limited repatriation flights from Australia this week. Australian retiree is spending his own pension money on supporting the poor during the crisis in Chiang Mai. Stranded 66-year-old German tourist seeks help on the street from a good Samaritan in central Bangkok. Police in Phuket await post-mortem results after deaths of two elderly Westerners last weekend at home. Thai expats stranded overseas due to COVID-19 travel restrictions. Farangs stranded abroad due to lockdown in Thailand.